Yo, what's going on guys? Your boy Vito here back on the Mad 16 and today I'm bringing you guys the next play out of the normal Y Flex tight. Uh, I got a few other plays in this formation. If you guys want to go check them out, go to my uh, my channel, click on my playlists, and then all the playlists are named after the formations that I broke down. They're all in the Carolina Panthers offensive playbook. I broke down a bunch because uh, we're working on a little bit of an ebook for you guys for a giveaway. So it's going to be the normal Y Flex tight. Um, it's going to be our next play in there, and this is going to be a complimentary play to the play I posted uh, yesterday. And it's the one where I put my, uh, my running back in motion. This is going to be another play where I put my running back in motion. And it's it's a great, great play, it, and it's and it's it's good, okay? I promise. It's very, very good. So we're going to come out in smash corners out of the gun normal Y flex tight, which, again, is out of the Carolina Panthers offensive playbook. So smash corners, and we're going to pick a random play because it works against all. So first thing we want to do is just put our running back in motion because I said that is what we're doing. That's the whole point of this play. We're putting our running back in motion. Um... And to do that, all we want to do is just hold down the B button and move over to our running back. So uh, if we're trying to get to our running back right now, we'd hold down the B button and we'd hit left on the D-pad and then up, or I'm sorry, left on the D-pad, then right on the D-pad since he's to the right. Um, and just like that. So if I want to get to Koch Tree, I'm going to hold down B and I'm going to hit left because Koch Tree is left of me. And if I want to go to Stewart, I'm going to hold down B and I'm going to hit right. And if it was your, if you're on the PlayStation, then you're going to be using the circle button. So let's go back to Cam Newton. To do that, we're going to hold down the B button and hit down on the stick or down on the D-pad. And boom, just like that, we're back on Cam Newton. So now let's go ahead and finish up the rest of the adjustments. So what we want to do is streak or fade our wide rec or X receiver. I'm going to fade him. So to do that, we want to hit Y or triangle, X or square, and then up on the right stick to fade. And then they're just not going to bump as much as they would if they're in a streak. So that's why we're going to do that. And then we want to put our RB in a flat route. To do that, we want to hit Y or triangle, RB or R1, and then LT or L2. And that's going to flat him. And that's going to give us a nice Z spot sort of set on the left side. And we also have a Z spot set on the right side if we want to streak our B receiver. We just don't have anyone open underneath. But uh, you could definitely streak your B receiver if you want. Then you could have a read on the right side as well with your A receiver. But we don't really care about that. I'm just going to leave him and his little, uh, uh, what was he? Was he in a hitch route? Wait, how do I? What is the hitch route? Hitch. All right, whatever. We'll just, okay, whatever. So we're going to be looking at the left side of the play. We're going to snap the ball. Uh, first read is RB, then Y, and then probably A. But usually RB or Y are always open. And if none of that's open, we're booking it because we got Cam Newton. And, you know, the whole Carolina Panthers offensive playbook is revolved around a fast quarterback. So definitely make sure you make your reads first. You stand tall in the pocket. Try and make a read before you take off. I always, re I never recommend a run with your quarterback. There's always a read to be made as long as you throw it at the right time. We're going to snap the ball. We're going to see the flats are open, and we're dumping it off to the flats. Flats are always the first read. Boom, nailed it. Perfect. Uh, we got a few yards. That would have been a first down even if it was first and 10. That simple. So we're going to put our running back in motion to do that. We want to hold the, down the B button and then hit right on the D-pad. And that's how we are going to shift to him. Then we're just going to hit left on the D-pad to move him out. And then we want to put him in the flat route. And then we want to streak our X receiver just like that. And we're going to snap the ball. We're going to see RB is open in the flats. So we're going to, tell, or we're going to dump it off to the flats. We're going to fall forward. Get a nice amount of yards. Um, if you want to trust it, you could wait a little bit longer. And maybe that breaking route is going to be open. But any time my, uh, my flats are open, I, I dump it off. I, I'm, this time I'm going to wait for Y if I think that Y has a chance of being open. And if I get sacked, then you know that's why because I was waiting for Y and I didn't dump it off the flat. Right here, definitely the flats are wide open. But I'm going to wait. I'm going to pass lead to the left, actually. And I think I would have got more yards if I would have dumped it off to the flats. And I'm going to explain to you guys why right now. Um, so you're going to see as soon as we snap the ball, we're going to see the flats are wide open, right? So right here is right at the probably the best time to pass it off to the flats, and let me explain to you why. We have 82 right here to be able to pick up 23 in a block, and we have number 13 to be able to pick up 29 in a block, which is leaving no one around us unblocked for about 10 or so yards, which means we are easily going to be able to rack this for a nice amount of yards, possibly even all the way if we could get our blocks to be held. But... Uh, since we did wait, we are still able to hit our corner out this time. That doesn't mean we're always going to be able to. But since we have the guy above, we're going to pass lead to the left. That way, instead of just running diagonally up like he's doing here, he's going to run straight to the left. To do that, we just want to hold down left on the left stick and then hold and then bullet pass it. And I believe that's our Y receiver that we're bullet passing it to. Maybe it's our X receiver. I don't remember. I think it's our Y receiver. Uh, yeah, it's our wide receiver. So we're just going to hold left on the left stick to be able to bullet or to pass lead to the left. That way we're not going to be pass leading him into coverage. So I'm going to show you guys the play a few more times before I end this video. You could also put them in a flat route while they're in motion just to make it a little bit quicker. 
Um, and we're going to dump it off to the flats again. He pulled off really well. Um, really, really well, actually. Usually they don't do anything like that. Usually uh, your wide receiver is able to pick up a block. Um, but see, we're going to put him in a... We're already going to uh, put him in, in his flat route. We're already going to hit and put him on the LT adjustment. And then as soon as you move him out, he's just going to be switched to a flat. That's how it works. This time it's man coverage, so we're going to wait. And we're going to be able to hit him with a possession catch. Probably should have racked that, but I don't care. We're in these streets, though. So let's go ahead and run it again, um, just like that. You can also slant your B receiver if you want. That way you have a read open the field. That's what I like to do if I run Z spots. So we're just going to do that. You don't really have to. But now in man coverage, A is going to be open, A and B is going to be open to man coverage. So you have more chances at uh, having an open receiver. See, oh, okay, I didn't get the ball off. But A and B were both open. I guess I just didn't get the ball off quick enough. I... I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I probably should. I could have thrown that way earlier. I don't know what the fuck I was doing. I was just trying to let. You, hopefully, you guys were able to see right there. A receiver's open, and our B receiver had been open for a while. I just never see. Like, as soon as he breaks, he's open. Boom, he's wide open. Just I'm sitting out here like Stevie Wonder, not throwing the ball for some reason. So let's go ahead and move him over. Back over to Cam Newton, and we're going to slant our B receiver just like that. And that's going to give us just one more read to make. And we're going to dump it off to the flats. He's going to peel off well again and just make this play look a lot. But, yeah, you got to keep in mind, you're still you're still gaining uh, somewhere close to 10 yards. And that's just a quick read. You know, if you wait longer, you might be able to make a better read down the field. And I'm just snapping it and throwing it to the first guy that I see that's open. So I'm going to snap it. We're actually going to hold on to it this time, and we're going to be able to hit uh, him over the top. It's going to tell you to rat catch that, but if you rack it, you're going to step your goofy Ronald McDonald feet right out of bounds. So possession catch that, unless you think you have enough room. And I just went full retard right there and, and accidentally... Uh... Shit, why did I do that? I accidentally um, changed the play. So we're going to go back out in the play. Where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? Okay. Smash corners. Random play. Let's streak our X. All right, and this is going to be the last time I run the play, and hopefully I throw an absolute dart. Um, so let's snap the ball, and we're actually going to have the flats open right away, and that's going to be perfect. C13 is going to pick up the block. We're going to be able to rack it for a few yards. 82 is not going to be able to pick up the block, though, because he's a dick. He's a he's a goddamn dirty dick. So we're going to snap the ball. We're going to see the flats are open, so we're taking off to the flats. Also, our B receiver is open. You're seeing our B, our slant is open. Um, and if we wait long enough... Uh, number 82 will be open over the top, but we're going to dump it off to the flats, and we're we'll going to be able to rack it for a nice amount of yards down the field. So I'm actually going to run the play again because I want to be able to hit that slant to show you guys that it's definitely open. It's it's most effective probably in zone coverage or whenever they're taking the hook zone out of the middle of the field. Um, so we're going to be able to dump it off right there. Um, and I'm going to show you guys what I mean by taking the hook zone out of the middle of the field because a lot of people are going to use the middle hook zone and move them out of the way. Um... So if, if they have a hook zone, if there's a middle linebacker right here, and, you know, a hook zone is the yellow zone, they're in the middle of the field, a lot of people will take the guy in the middle of the field, and they're going to play this breaking route because the breaking route's really hard to stop. So a lot of people are going to take that hook zone, and they're going to play this with it, and then that's going to leave the slant wide open in the middle, which is exactly what happened, you know. There's no hook zone. Boom, he's absolutely booty butthole naked across the middle of the field, and that's exactly what happened. So we're going to run the play one more time, and then I'm going to wrap the video up for you guys. And there's actually another setup out of this play. Same exact play, there's another setup, and I'm gonna, that's going to be my next video to show you guys. So we're going to snap the ball, and we're going to wait. Hey, actually, our B receiver is open deep down the field. And that's going to be our last read, and we're going to be able to throw a supreme dot. Like I said, our reads are RB. Actually, let me set up the play first so that I could show you guys. Okay, move over Stewart. Okay, move over Stewart. There we go. Um, so like I said, our reads as, our reads are as followed, and we're going to be looking at RB, then Y, or RB and B somewhere around the same area, so our RB, B, Y, and then A, and then, you know, if you got a one-on-one -on -one situation, you could always chuck it up to your X receiver, which we have right here, and actually it wasn't caught, but it wasn't intercepted because it's never intercepted, and it's really just that simple, guys. Um, so if you guys like the video, give it a like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, it's going to be down in the description below, and as always, peace!